Hello dear students. In this lecture we are going to discuss glycoside test of ethnobotany which comes under phytochemical tests. What are phytochemicals? As we have discussed before in previous lectures, phytochemicals are also known as plant secondary metabolites and they play a major role in defense mechanism against pests, pathogens. They also show antioxidant, anti-inflammatory properties and also response to different environmental stresses. They can be extracted from different plant parts like leaves, flowers, bark, seed etc. And knowledge of these phytochemicals is desirable because this information is utilized for the synthesis of modern drugs and medicines as well as some cosmetic products. So we have already discussed many phytochemicals before like we have discussed alkaloids, steroids, tannins, uh, flavonoids, saponins etc. In today's lecture we will be focusing on glycoside test. So what are gly glycosides? Glycosides are compounds that consist of sugar molecule which is also called as glycon and which is bound to a non-sugar molecule known as a glycon or genin or glycoside is a molecule in which a sugar is bound to another functional group via glycosidic bond they are widespread in plants and can have various functions many plants they store these chemicals or glycosides in the form of glycosides. They can be activated by enzyme hydrolysis which causes the sugar part to be broken off making the chemical available for use. And many such plant glycosides are used as medicines. Some glycosides they serve as energy storage molecules while others act as pigments or used in defense uh, used as defense compounds. The majority of the plant glycoside hydrolases are involved in cell wall polysaccharide metabolism. Now for phytochemicals we, we are interested in uh, cardiac glycosides. So plant derived cardiac glycosides are secondary metabolites consisting of a steroid backbone and cardiac glycosides can be classified as cardinolites or bufenolites. Now cardinolites are known since ancient times for their positive effects on cardiac arrhythmia, congestive heart failure and arterial fibrillation. The main role as anti-arrhythmic agents is based on their ability to inhibit the sodium potassium ATPase ion pump and thus increasing intracellular potassium concentrations. In response to this intracellular uh, calcium increases which promotes more efficient myocardial contraction and improves cardiac pump activity. So what, what does that mean? It means that these plant derived um, cardiac glycosides actually they, uh, they have the ability to inhibit pota sodium potassium pump and so they increase the potassium concentration in turn calcium concentration increases and it promotes the ca cardiac contraction and which improves the cardiac pump activity and this is how uh, the cardinolites are helping uh, uh, cardiac rhythm the third point is that we well uh, well known examples of therapeutic cardiac gly glycosides are digoxin and digitoxin which are derived from foxglove plant digitalis purpurea. Now the second type of gly cardiac glycoside which is your bufadionulites are present in very low amounts in plants and they are pro but they are prominent in animals such as toad, fireflies and snake. So uh, from phytochemical point of view we are interested in plant derived cardio glycosides which are very important and the most famous are examples are digoxin and digitoxin derived from foxglove plant digitalis. 
Now for uh, testing uh, phytochemical glycoside, uh, we the requirements are fresh leaves of different plants. The chemical requirements are glac glacial acetic acid, 5% ferric chloride and the glassware uh, required are as usual conical funnel, beakers, test tubes, measuring cylinder, pipettes and the miscellaneous things required are pestle and mortar, cotton, filter paper, funnel stand, muscle and cloth. So for the extraction you have to crush 20 gram of leaves and grind them using pestle and mortar to make a fine slurry or paste with 100 ml of water and this has to be filtered using a muslin cloth as we have already discussed in previous lectures and done in previous experiment that the ratio of leaves is to water will be in the 1 is to 5 ratio. Now for phytochemical test of glycoside uh, the test is known as keller kiliani test and for this we take 2 ml of the test solution which is here the slurry extracted in uh, by crushing leaves in water and to this filtrate you add um, 3 ml of glacial acetic acid and then drop wise 5 percent ferric chloride in a test tube if the blue color appears in acetic layer it indicates the presence of cardiac glycosides now you can see these are some of the results or um, of test of glycoside done in uh, previous batch and you can see that there are five plants Vithenia somnifera, Centellum album, Vitus vinifera and Eleocarpus anguistifolius. So you, you can see appearance of a light bluish color in all of the test tubes and uh, if you see there is light bluish color which is very dark in Vithenia somnifera and then it, it is a little light in Centellum album and then you have see a dark color again in vitus vinifera which are your grapes and then in rudraksh there is a uh, light blue color so the appearance uh, of blue color is in this is test all you, the in plants. this slide you can see that osimum sanctum which is your tulsi plant it is also showing blue color but it is not very prominent while in combretum indicum which is your cuscalis you can see a blue bluish appearance here and these are some more plants where you see the appearance on of blue color and some of the plants are not showing the appearance of blue color so appearance of blue color you can see in completum indicum osimum sanctum and pradescantia while in crinum asiaticum and pradescantia pallida you cannot you are unable to see any blue color so in the first three tubes we will write the result as positive for glycoside and in the next two uh, plants we will write it as uh, uh, negative. So you can record your uh, experiment in a tabulated manner like this. You can write uh, positive test for um, all the plants where you have got positive test for uh, glycoside and the intensity of the color can be recorded with the help of plus signs when there is less blue color you can indicate with one positive and where there is more you can indicate it with more positive signs so i hope you this practical is clear to you and the glycoside part is also clear to you so thank you students let us meet in the next lecture